Hello YouTube, Jeremy Martin 72 here and I get a common question of how do I record and produce and edit audio files offline on a Chromebook and, and when Chromebooks first came out that was a, a serious subject there. It wasn't too much you can do if anything on a Chromebook when it was offline but now as Chromebooks have come to age especially through uh, Linux apps and Android apps, there are all kinds of things that your Chromebook can do offline. Now, I've gone through and Android Play, Google Play, and uh, I've found that the best, I've tried them all, tried every one of the samples, and I've tried this one, and I've found that this one in Track Studio 9 Pro Music is, in my personal opinion, the best DAW you can get in uh, Android app. Uh, and and it's worth to pay the the pro the the, the fine for the pro, uh, which is somewhere around 30, 30 bucks or something like that. And uh, you know when you when you pay for the pro update, you you get it the whole time. You know it's not like it's a monthly thing or a yearly thing. You know that's the upgrade and that's it. And also, any device that is Android capable that you have logged in with the same Gmail account that you use to upgrade your Intrack Pro Studio app with can also download the application in its full structure at, that you paid for on your Chromebook. So, uh, in, my, in this situation, I paid for the Intrack Studio once which was about 30 bucks and then I got that same full application on my Google Pixel Book, on my Google Pixel 4 XL phone and on my Galaxy Tab A. So one payment gives me three devices that I can use and connect to my Google Drive to give me all kinds of audio recording options. We're going to go and open up my uh, app tray here. And we're going to open up in track nine. I love this thing. And yes, it is exactly what you think. I, you know, and I tried all, all of the other um, samples for, uh, for uh, audio recording. And some of them were just, they were money hungry. They wanted monthly payments. Um, their user interface was difficult at best. Um, but I found that this has the best user interface. If you're if you're used to just a simple setup, like for example, if you've done Cakewalk or Cubase or something like that, then you're looking at this and you're already seeing a lot of familiar things in front of you. So like, and now I'm gonna do a real quick walkthrough here. I am not gonna go uh, get in depth with things. This is just a quick walkthrough here. I'm gonna start up at the very top left hand corner right here with the um with that uh arrow what that does is is it closes out uh that uh left hand utility tray so that you can see the entire work area and we're going to open that back up and now next to it is a green grid and you know that all depends on on what you have set up for uh what you want to see through the grid right now i have it have it on beat and um and it gives you options for show groups, show instruments, all that other stuff. And of course, right on, right on down here, this is all your timing, and which is important for your time signature for your um, for your beat in general and for your MIDI uh, your MIDI code. And at the end, right here, you'll see uh, a, another control panel that pulls up the main audio right here and gives you all kinds of um, options on how you want and it even gives you a, uh, a recording option here and um, you know effects and, and stereo out and all that other stuff but like I said I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get really too in-depth with it um, you know like I said it gives you all kinds of good options and that, yes what I just clicked right there is uh, if I can close it out oh, sorry right there that's the uh, that's the planet with the um, music symbol on it and okay, so and you know, uh, it, it, for the um, the, your tracks, you can you can name them all individually, and uh, here's how you delete them by hitting X, and then you got mute, 
uh, solo and arm arm track and in this slider right here these are all your individual track volumes like I said I'm not gonna get too in depth with it this is all your work area right here where all your tracks and everything are gonna show up and we're gonna go down here to the bottom left hand corner that is your record button when your track is armed it will show red letting you know that you have a record option the next one is play the next one is uh, rewind and this one is uh, in infinite loop I do believe and uh, you know your timing based on what function you have your your app set in at the time and this is an open area right here where some things can pop up and not you know something similar to um, how <coughs> how windows can be sometimes you open something up and something will pop up right there all right and these how you add in new new things uh, this right here opens up a new MIDI and yes you have uh, the option to be able to play it has its own built-in MIDI player with pitch bender, right? And I'm, I'm not going to get into it, right? It's something that you're going to mess with there. This is for drums, and you can, and it'll show you your own drum set, and it has downloadable drum sets that you can get. And the prices for downloading MIDI voices are reasonable from what I've seen. Um, metronome here. And, and to uh, add a new, here, let me show you here. Click on that. There, doo, there's your drums right there. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, you can actually hit on all these. Let's close that out. All right, and you got your undo and your redo. Let me hit that again. All right, see. Um, when you hit this button right down here, it, it allow it gives you to where you can just click on them individually on what kind of tracks you want to put in. Um, we're going to move over to the three dots right here. Like I said, I, I'm not I'm gonna I'm not focusing on much. I'm just doing a real quick walkthrough here. This gives you all kinds of envelope choices and panning and selection modes, and the the gear is obviously your settings. Very important system to go through. Me, uh, me personally, I like to keep my um, my bit selection at the highest that I can get, so I can get the highest quality audio. But I mean, it's your choice in whatever you're looking for in here, and just make sure you hit OK once you got it set up like you want it. Uh, you also have um, social sharing options right here. You could share links. You could share multi-track projects. It'll even switch it over to MP3 so you can share it to whoever you want. And uh, the the hamburger, yeah, obviously you also got your your help your help button in the in the question. Uh, um, but we're gonna we're gonna go to the hamburger button there. And uh, to open a new song, you uh, you click that. That'll uh, that'll uh, close what you got out and then open up a new blank uh file for you to add whatever you want you can open a new song from here or you can save your song and when you save your song they give you all kinds of options to save your songs at um you got SNG, you got SGW, you got audio mix downs, MP3 mix down, audio mix downs export each track to a separate wave file which really comes in handy now i i kind of like doing the, the sgw uh file if if i'm working between two different uh android devices but you know it's like it like i said it's something that you want to mess around with yourself and find what you like now oh no i don't want to overwrite anything all right so now um, it, it also saves your files um, locally and to find them you're going to want to go into your file and and you go, you're going to want to look for like play files uh, your, your Android files and when you click on them and when I first uh, was looking for them I was like you know I cannot find my freaking files where are they well you know uh, some Android files are hidden and I, I think that in this situation, these files shouldn't be hidden. So you want to hit on the three dots right here. And then you want to go to show all play files or play folders. And you click that. Doop, there you go. Say so you got in track right there. 
and you go up and you click on that and there's all of your in track all of your recording studio files right there it's amazing i love this program i've done some acoustic recording with my son my son has uh on and off done recording with me all his life and he's seen all kinds of digital um recording systems that i've had and uh, he thinks this one is one of the best ones that are out there that he's seen so far and heard, especially for the price. So anyways, my brothers and sisters, there are ways that you can do things on your Chromebook without having to be online. And this is one of them. You have to be creative. Android is your way of doing things offline. Uh, be safe. Be security aware. And Google on.